Yo, yo, beautiful people, this is Nate here. This is Kev. And yo, we are Games Music Life. So we're back in today with a review for this Big Crit Project. Yes. Forever is a mighty long time. Mighty, mighty long time. It is. Yeah. A very long time. All right, man. So Def Jam artist sat, blame L.A. Reid again mm. for this guy just being there. Mm. L.A. Reid should be taken somewhere and left at an island forever for stuff like this. <laughs> Drag him like, out to the shed. How many artists is this now that we really can say we're on Def Jam, right? Mm-hmm. And this might be the biggest one who, like, we put this project out and, like... First of all, let's put it out. This thing was amazing. Yeah. This project was pretty amazing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he produced, wrote the whole thing, did it all himself. Yeah. How do you not keep a guy like that on your label? You know what, man? Uh, he 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 don't have traditional hits. Yeah. You Maybe, know? Right, record. But see, that's the thing that goes to the debate whether or not you need radio success. Uh, for for a record to sell, yes. For record you do. company, for you do. record. I mean, record companies are in the business of making money. That's off true. Of music. That is true. So maybe that's the reason why. I don't know. I better kick themselves in the butt. I I want to applaud Crit for getting independent mm-hmm. and putting this project out, which is probably going to be critically acclaimed as probably his best one. Yeah. Now, um, but even his past stuff was good. Um, but this one was one that we both were looking forward to. Yeah. We absolutely. both were uh, really highly anticipating it, and um, I wasn't. Ex- I was expecting for it to be good. I gotta be honest with you. I didn't expect for it to be this good. Wow. You know okay. what I'm saying? I didn't expect for it to be as good to where this is all I listened to. Yeah. You know. I feel you. And at parts when I listened to it, I'm like, I had to remind myself that it wasn't under three thousand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm a big Outkast fan, and like I'm listening to it, like the funk and the breakdowns and from the just and then when you just break it into layers, like the the production was just so good. It was. The features were so good. He brought Lloyd out. He brought Joe Scott out. He brought some really some heavy people I haven't heard in a quite a long time. Ti sounded good on there, man. Um, the UGK track. I mean, can we just talk about that for just a hot second? Like <laughs> that was a, like Bun B came was like, yo, yeah. I still do this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, what'd you think, bro? Man. uh... First of all, it, it was always great to hear some new Crit, man. It actually felt like Crit had been on the shelf for some time. We haven't gotten an album from him or a project from him in quite a while, man. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I still listen to King Remembered in Time pretty frequently, man. Okay. It's, it's got a lot of my favorite records from Crit on there, man. Okay. Uh, and I was definitely here. glad to hear him return with this, man. Uh, this album, man, had a real cool, real soulful jazz vibe to it, and I really mm. felt like that plays well to Crit's style. Yeah. See, one of the things about like him being on a record label before is it's like, yo, you could tell when a record label was just trying to push a record in front of an artist uh-huh. and trying to make them work within the confines of that record. And for certain artists, man, like you just can't do that. Like Crit might not, you know what I'm saying, make records that are going to be top 40 hits, but that's not to say that he can't be a very successful artist or, you know what I'm saying, he can't push it out there. There are a lot of, you know what I'm saying, guys who just thrive in the underground, you know, shouts right, out to right, Currency. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? And who could tour forever, man, keep putting out projects and have a really solid fan base. And I feel like Crit is one of those artists, and I don't feel like that's a knock to his talent, mm-hmm. but maybe what he does very well isn't going to catch on for the masses. But for the people who do get it, man, they will love and appreciate it in a way that, you know what I'm saying, he'll be able to do what he wants to do with his music forever because right. we'll always support him man. we'll always be checking for a big crit project uh, right, because right, of right. that uh, with it we got to talk about the fact that come on it's a double disc I don't, right yeah double disc albums man yeah. typically it's like yo it, even Hove couldn't really pull that off and you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying I thought Hove did good with the Blueprint too man I enjoyed that album but if you condense that album to you know one, one yeah, yeah, album one, yeah. it was a much better project much better. than with all that music on there there were no throwaways on this no throwaways on this man everything was just funky even the track we talked about, I mean, you know, talking about his girl, it was so yeah. tasteful, just so good, man. And he touched on a lot of topics too, very and, much so. And you know, I never felt like on any of these records he was pandering, you know, what I'm saying to any specific crowd or trying to really reach out to anybody in specific. It was just like, yo, he was talking about his real life as yeah. a real person, man, talking about dealing with fame, love, depression, yes, uh, yeah. you know, what I'm saying uh, self contradiction, self yeah. self doubt, substance yes. abuse, man, and, and bring God back into the forefront, and then brought it right back around to some good old player stuff. Yes, right, you know. Right, exactly. yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Just, just holding it down, man. Southern Stein, come on right, now. Right, right. You know, I mean, you can relate to it so much. It's a little bit of something on here for everybody. And I felt like it was so multifaceted that most people experience these things and can relate to them in a way that you know he was able to embody the you know the average young. Yeah. I don't even want to just say black, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A young man out yeah. here in these streets, man. How uh, fame is a new drug. Yeah, man. You know, whether or not it was really for him. Yeah. Um, the you know, the the uh the uh the, the substance abuse to everything. Like I, I definitely thought he touched on a lot of things. I'm starting to listen to him in his interviews, which I wanted to I stayed away from before we did our reviews for the most mm-hmm. part, before I re- wrote mine down, I should say. Mm-hmm. And um it like it was right on par with I knew what he was doing, like having conversations with himself <laughs> on the album. Which Jay did, which was very dope. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I thought it was amazing, man. Yeah. I just thought it was just a great project. This album was a testament that uh, creative control for an artist, man, can really make or break you, man. Because this was an album where, you know, you could tell this was an artist that had to live a little yeah. to really have something to deliver. I, I feel like the break that he took was probably the best thing that ever happened to him, man. It gave mm. us enough time. It gave him enough time to go away, live a little bit, learn a little bit more about himself, and it gave us enough time to miss him uh, to be ready for this project. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think that we could have appreciated this album for what it was if he was, you know, constantly putting out music to way that he was. I mean, not to say that it would have been, you know, any you know any less uh, stellar than what right, it is. Right. But it, it's like, yo, when this hit, it hit. It got he got low. Yeah, he, he did. Got, he got low. But it brings up a question when I was asking you before in our in our group chat was like, when you listen to music like this, man, in in my opinion, it, it angered me because <laughs> it, it no no knock the chance to rapper. I know I keep bringing him up when I say all this, <laughs> but why is it that certain artists bubble and they get the the stamp from everybody? They get the mm. Apple stamp. They get the Michelle Obamas, which I get why Chance gets those stamps because he's so positive. Yeah. But I, when you listen to a crit album, I want to scream from the rooftops. Everyone should listen to this. You know what though? I, I don't feel like everybody need to listen to it, man. It's like I know I know the type of people who need to hear this music. Like you, got, mm-hmm. this is the type of album, man. You gotta have lived a little to yeah. really appreciate mm-hmm. it, man. Like much like how I felt about Anderson Pack's album. Like you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. If you just hear it, just take it on on surface level, man. It sounds really good, but when you really get to listening to it, it's like, yo, you could tell that this person lived something yeah. and really got a story to tell. It's not just you know a bunch of just silliness and turning up and just out here acting a fool, man. Yeah. It, it was yeah. a, it was a man telling his story. Yo, man. that's that's a great point. That's a very good point. You're right. I think because I put it on Lonely Deer gets in the car. And he's like, Dad, what is this? And he wants to hear the Twenty One Savage and uh, yeah, you know, what I'm saying? he want to have fun. It yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. But this is out, man. Once you live a little bit, you like you know what? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's real. What he talking. About. Absolutely, he, yeah. man. It has some stuff in there, but yo, I gave it a ninety-seven. Ooh, ooh yeah. yeah, yeah. I was at a ninety-three. I okay. was at a ninety-three. So we was right in the same ballpark. Yeah, yeah. I think um, over time, this definitely is going to be in contention for album of the year. Yeah, what we'll we we'll talking about our year in review, which is next month, by the way. Yeah, this man. Year has flew by, bro. Hey, it really has. It's been a good year. It has been it's a good been year good. for music a of, too. A lot of great music came out. A lot of great Absolutely. albums came out this year. Absolutely. And uh, this is right up there with them, man. For yeah. sure. Yo, even the skits were good. Yes, <laughs> like, the, the skits, skits were, were funny. Good. Yeah, they, they were like, man, they were perfectly placed, man. It was and they made sense flowing into the next song yeah like that's another thing too the album flowed well together absolutely yeah I put it on just clean the crib man like I just that's all I I mean that's that it's, it's holding me back that, that album was holding me back and listening to everything else that dropped yeah because a lot of music came out yeah man I was saying you could drive to it man you could put it on the headphones man you listen to it with your loved ones man yeah. like yo, yeah. yo, you know what I mean it's something for everybody there absolutely so yo man let us know what you guys think man we're too high too low I know crit fans will come here and love it if people yo understand we love it we love it we love it yes we love it yeah for y'all coming here tell us that we tripping <laughs> yeah because like, everyone in the in the, uh, in the Wu-Tang review man I can, I can hear your do-rags flapping in the wind <laughs> in disgust when you were writing those words so yeah you know, tell us what you guys think though if you, I'm, we're here for any you know anything criticism any opinions you guys have man just leave it in there we, we try to respond to everybody but I want to know what your score is Absolutely. before you do that let me know what your score is we can go in there and see what it is we gotta hear it yeah but yo I'm Nate here this is Kev and yo this is Gay's Music Life man drink more water people peace peace